Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about diffusion through a stagnant film. So, diffusion through a stagnant film. This is a catalyst particle. This is a catalyst pellet. This is a catalyst pellet. And suppose fluid is coming. This is the fluid which is coming to the so catalyst. This is the fluid which is flowing through the catalyst particle. So, when the fluid is flowing through catalyst particle, the fluid will form uh, a layer around the catalyst particle. This is a stagnant layer around the catalyst particle. This is a stagnant layer, the black one. A stagnant layer around the catalyst particle. The fluid will form a stagnant layer around the catalyst particle. And this is the surface of the catalyst. 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 Suppose the catalyst, uh, the surface of catalyst is uh, covered with component A. Covered with component A. The surface of catalyst is covered with component A. And the concentration of component A is Ca. So, the surface of catalyst is covered with component A and the concentration of component A at the surface of catalyst is suppose it is CAS. CAS. And the fluid form a layer around the catalyst fillet or catalyst particle. But if the catalyst diameter is very large, then if or if the radius of catalyst is very large, then the catalyst will look like a flat plate, like a plate 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 a plate plate the hydrodynamic boundary layer will form above the catalyst particle hydrodynamic boundary layer will form uh, above the catalyst particle so this is the catalyst particle the surface the concentration of component a the surface of catalyst is denoted by cas cas and this is the thickness of the boundary layer is denoted by delta and above the boundary layer the this is the bulk flow region so the concentration of component a in the bulk flow region is denoted by cab concentration of component a in the bulk flow is denoted by cab now we are assuming that the surface of catalyst is a uh, uh, flat flat because if the catalyst particle is very uh, big or if the diameter of the catalyst is very large then we will assume that the catalyst act like a, a flat flat surface and we will apply the Cartesian coordinate system to the surface of catalyst. So, suppose this is the surface of catalyst, the concentration of component A at the surface of catalyst is denoted by this CAS and the concentration of component A and this is the bulk flow and the concentration of component A in the bulk flow is denoted by CA. B. This is the bulk flow region and this is the boundary layer. This is the boundary layer and the thickness of the boundary layer is denoted by uh, theta and we uh, and this direction we are assuming that this is the z direction and suppose the mm, this is the uh, this is the boundary layer. This is the boundary layer. Now we are assuming a thin a thin layer a thin layer inside the boundary layer this is a thin layer in the boundary layer the boundary layer is stagnant we are assuming that the boundary layer is stagnant and there is no uh, there is no motion and there is no velocity in the z direction uz is zero so we are assuming that velocity in the z direction is zero the component a is uh, uh, passing through this uh, stagnant layer which we are assuming inside the boundary layer in this boundary layer now now the component a will pass through the this thick this this small thickness which is denoted by delta z the thickness of this layer is delta z so the concern the and this w a shows the flux of component a so the flux of component a at, at this z position will be denoted by w a z w a 
z and the flux of component a at this z plus delta z position will be denoted by flux of component a at z plus delta z delta z z plus delta z and there is no generation of uh, there is no there is no r a in this suppose the uh, the rate of appearance or rate of dis disappearance of component a in this small thickness delta z is suppose it is equal to zero so now we will apply uh, now we will apply the uh, balance on this small region inside the boundary layer this thickness in this delta z so the uh, flux of component a at z position will be w a z and the flux of component a at z plus delta z this is z, z plus delta z delta z position so comp flux at z plus delta z will be denoted by z plus delta z so material from material balance we know that input minus output plus generation is equal to accumulation so input minus output plus generation is equal to accumulation so a is not accumulating in this place so the accumulation term will be zero and suppose a is not generating so it will be equal to zero now the input is denoted by w a z w a flux of component a at z position is input minus w a z plus delta uh, z is equal to zero now divide this term by delta z delta z and when delta z approaches zero we will get we will get minus dwaz divided by dz is equal to zero is equal to zero now is equal to zero r so this is equation suppose this is equation number one suppose this is equation number one now we know that the flux of component a in the z direction in the z direction is uh, the combination of uh, molecular flux which is d a b d a b d c a in the z direction of la, uh, plus the convective flux in the z direction which is concentration and velocity in the z direction so if the concentration of component a in the z direction is very very small and if the velocity of component a in the z direction is zero so we are assuming we use it our velocity uh, in the z direction is zero so we are ignoring this component because the uh, it is a stagnant layer so we will uh, uh, assume that this component convective term is zero so the flux of component a in the z direction is minus dab uh, into dca divided by dz now uh, put suppose this is equation number a now put this equation number a this equation number a and this equation number one put equation a in this equation number one so we will get minus dab minus dab minus dab into d by dz and to this flux and in pl place of this flux i am i am putting this one so minus dab dca by dz is equal to zero now dab now it will be equal to uh, this will be equal to uh, this will be equal to so this is uh, d by dz and to w a z so w a z w a z now this so sorry this d a b is not present so this this will be now d a b further simplify it d a b d 
square into C A D Z square is equal to zero. Divide this equation B by D A B. We will get we will get C A <coughs> by sorry <coughs> D Z square is equal to zero. Or you can also write this by D by D Z into D C A by D Z is equal to zero. So you can further simplify it. D D C A by D Z is equal to zero. If this term come to this side, it will multiply by zero and it will be equal to zero. Now take integral. So integral of zero is constant. So it will be D C A by D Z. Is equal to constant, and I am writing it k1. K1 is constant. Now further simplify it. DCA k1 into dz, which will give us uh, DCA is equal to k1z plus constant, which is k2. <coughs> constant of integration. Now uh, this if we integral uh, integrate it. So it will give us C A is equal to K one Z plus K two. So this is the concentration. This is the concentration profile in a component A in the boundary layer. In the boundary layer. So this was catalyst particle, and this was the hydrodynamic boundary layer. And the concentration profile look like a linear linear graph. So concentration. Will look like this, this one. So now applying the boundary condition, applying the boundary condition. So boundary conditions. Boundary condition one is if uh, z is equal to zero. Suppose this is the if z is equal to zero at the surface of catalyst. If z is equal to zero, then concentration here z is equal to zero. So at surface of catalyst, the concentration of component A is denoted by C S, and when uh, Z is equal to the boundary layer thickness sigma, then the concentration in this position will be equal to C A B concentration of component A in the bulk position. So it will be equal to C A B. So when Z is equal to zero, the concentration of component A will be equal to uh, C A S. This is the first boundary condition. The second boundary condition, uh, when z is equal to the thickness of the bond hydrodynamic boundary layer, which is sigma, then the concentration of component A will be equal to concentration of component A in the bulk region. So these are the two boundary condition. Now put these boundary condition in this equation number x. So when z is equal to zero, then C A will be equal to C A S. In this uh, equation number x, this when z is equal to zero, this term will be equal to zero, and C A will be equal to C A S. So C A S will be equal to K two. So C A S is equal to K two. So K two will be equal to C A S. This uh, the second constant of constant of integration, which is K two is equal to C A S. Similarly, when z is equal to um, the boundary layer thickness, then Uh, C A will be equal to uh, C A B. So C A B is equal to K one and thickness of the boundary layer uh, plus a K two. But we already know that the K two from the boundary condition, first boundary condition, that K two is equal to C A S. So C A B is equal to K one and to the thickness of the boundary plus C A S. Now rearrange this. C A B minus C A S is equal to K one and to the thickness of the boundary layer. So I am further uh, simplify it. C A B minus C A S divided by thickness of the boundary hydrodynamic hydrodynamic boundary layer. It will be equal to K one. Now putting this <coughs> sorry putting this so uh, mm, this equation. Suppose this is equation number y. Put this equation number y in equation number. Put this equation number y in this equation number x. So in this equation, so equation number x is C A is equal to K one and to Z plus K two. So C A is equal to the C A is equal to uh, C A is equal to 
the um, C A is equal to um, K1 and 2 Z K1 and 2 Z K1 and 2 Z sorry K1 and 2 Z C A is equal to K1 and 2 Z plus K2 so uh, in place of K1 I will put this term whole term in this place in place of this k1 so ca will be equal to cab minus cs divided by thickness and this z so multiply by z plus k2 and k2 is nothing but when z is equal to 0 ca will be equal to cas so k2 is nothing but cas so this is the uh, concentration profile inside the hydrodynamic boundary layer now uh, uh, we also know that flux from flux we know that that flux is nothing but the flux of component a in the z direction is equal to uh, minus dab dab uh, into dca by d z so <coughs> these are the flux remember that the convective term is zero we have already written it so the flux of component a in the z direction will be equal to minus dab or d by dz and in place of c a i am putting this whole term this whole term so this will be equal to uh, c a b minus c a s divided by thickness <coughs> sorry and into z so i am putting it plus c a s now the further simplify it it will be d a b d by d z and to c a b minus c a s divided by thickness and z plus or minus minus this minus so minus dab d by dz and to the cas so this usually this concentration is given to us concentration at the surface of the catalyst particle so this is constant so constant derivative of constant is zero so you also know that the derivative of constant is zero so this will be zero now this CAB and CS are constant, this thickness is constant, so it will come out from the derivative. So it will be equal to minus DAB CAS CAB minus CAS uh, divided by thickness, and uh, this is the uh, D by DZ into Z, so it will be equal to 1. So the flux of component A in the Z direction will be equal to minus DAB divided by thickness and to CAB minus CAS. So this is the this is the concentration gradient. This is the concentration gradient. So the flux is uh, equal to the concentration gradient multiplied by diffusivity divided by thickness. So this thickness shows the resistance to the mass transport. So the whole resistance to the mass transport will occur inside the mm, hydrodynamic boundary layer, which was this hydrodynamic boundary layer. This thickness, the whole resistance to the mass transport will occur in this hydrodynamic boundary layer. So this is the final equation which shows the flux of component a in the stagnant film so the flux of component a in the stagnant film will be equal to w a z is equal to dab divided by thickness and to the concentration gradient so this shows the transport of component a from the surface of catalyst to the bulk flow so this shows the transport of component a from this surface of catalyst from this surface of catalyst to this bulk flow c a b this is the bulk flow so the flux of component a uh, from the surface of this catalyst particle 
this catalyst particle and this is the surface so the flux of component a from the surface of this catalyst particle to this bulk flow this is the bulk flow this is to this bulk flow is denoted by this whole equation so this was just about the flux of component a uh, through a stagnant film thank you very much for your attention in the coming lecture we will discuss about the uh, transport coefficient and further topics thank you very much for your attention